A tragic and unsettling day for family and friends of a Kissimmee businessman reported missing earlier this week. Jose Rafael Malave Lebron was found dead inside of his car, submerged in a retention pond today. West News Gail Pascal Brown joins us live from Kissimmee. And Gail, you spoke with friends and family. Yes, and they are all heartbroken. LeBron was a beloved a businessman here in Kissimmee, a barber. This, well, he owned this shop, and as you can see, there are flowers and candles here that loved ones brought out here. It is just so tragic. Our hearts go out to him, his family, and friends. He says there's no words to define how great of a person he was, a superhuman being. <laughs> That's what fellow barber and friend Victor Manuel Soto has to say about Jose Rafael Malave Lebron. Lebron owned this Kissimmee barber shop in Buena Ventura Lakes, and everyone here was like family. Friday afternoon, they got the worst news ever that Lebron was found deceased inside his car in a retention pond on Water's Edge, just minutes from his shop and his home. He says he felt very sad, is something that he couldn't believe. The family had just celebrated Mother's Day, and LeBron ended up going to a friend's house in Orlando, near Ward Road, about 3 a.m., driving his black Cadillac on May 15th. The family said he was apparently heading home. The Florida Highway Patrol says he was traveling on Water's Edge and failed to negotiate a curve and ran off the roadway. The car struck a utility box and went into the pond. LeBron was trapped inside. He was pronounced dead on the scene. It's such a sad situation that we're going through right now. How is the family coping with all of this? It's hard because my cousins, which is Jose's fiance, um, she's pregnant right now. He says she's seven months pregnant. Victor says that's one of the things that is most shocking because LeBron was going to be a father, a person that always desired to be a father. His family says he was also a loving son, brother, and entrepreneur. This barbershop was his dream. He says all the friends, we are all going to have him in our hearts, in our spirits, because he was a good person, and how all his family could count on our support just as much as he supported us. Now, when all this happened, the exact day and time of the crash is still under investigation. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Kissimmee for West 2 News.